A Thibodeau man caught in the middle of gunfire at a Metairie gas station found help at an unlikely business. WGNO's Brittany Dixon sat down with him almost a week after the shooting to hear how his recovery is going. It's a story you'll only see on WGNO News. Amy Dylan Benoit was hit by a stray bullet earlier this week while he was driving past a Metairie gas station. But this story really shows just how brave he truly is handling such a scary situation with ease. I, I lined up with the pumps and I started hearing poop, 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 you know, like gunshots going off. A simple trip to the vet turned yeah. Dylan Benoit from parent Queen to patient in a split second. Glory. He was struck by gunfire earlier this week during an argument turned violent at the Circle K on Causeway Boulevard. When I got hit, um, it just it felt like a a baseball bat hit me like in that one little spot, just grabbed the towel I had in my car and held it to my leg to slow the bleeding. And I figured, you know, I was already close to MedVet, so I would just keep going since they would have gauze to help stop the bleeding. So when most would have crumbled, Benoit mustered up the courage to keep going. I guess it was just a survival thing, you know, like I knew that if I stopped, I probably would bleed out. Since then, he says it's been tough going from living on his own to being dependent upon his mother. But mom tells us the help is coming from much farther. Friends and neighbors offering up donations, food, help with Benoit's best buds, and just prayers for the family. I thought it was really cool. <laughs> Benoit tells me overall he's doing fine. Thankful for the first responders on scene, thankful for the staff at the hospital, and thankful his hit wasn't worse. But that moment still plays back in his mind. She was preparing lunch yesterday. And I heard, you know, her chopping something. And for a second, I was like, is that bullets? You know, like, for a split second. But he's staying positive, just waiting until he can do the things he loves once again. I'm just glad to be alive. And, you know, if my family and friends, they're not mourning me, you know. They're, they're just, they're glad that I'm okay. His mom tells us he has kept his composure throughout the entire situation, even when he first got shot, calling her from the ambulance. The only thing he wanted, Amy, was to make sure she checked on his dogs. Wow, remarkable story. Thanks so much, Brittany.